stories. All your papers in just a moment. First, here's the sport with Chris. Let's take a look at our uh, front pages. And uh, the Times says uh, Alistair Darling scrambling to mm. dollars. Global rescue package agreed by the G20. It's not good here, is it? It's not. It's not good. And there's a picture of a Bengal tiger because it's emerged that um, China has... Uh, the Daily Telegraph has uh, a lovely picture on its front page of... Uh, Eight-year-old um, Brown sours U.S. relations on Lockerbie. It's getting what the Prime Minister has apparently been warned. The Daily Mail: uh, Britain accused the barefaced lies over Lockerbie or um, unpaid, unpaid bills. bills. Uh, the Independent is saying that the Chancellor Alistair Darling has warned that international. And uh, the Daily Express says a mortgage price war has broken out yesterday. Gordon Brown is heading for a crushing defeat at the next election, says the Sun, with voters believing he's failing our troops in Afghanistan. Extraordinary picture in the uh, the Sun. Uh, which sort of gives a, a depiction, really, of... Are the lights not on? <laughs> Is that why we look so shoddy this morning? <laughs> Shall we leave it there? Yeah, I think before so. Before we get into any more trouble. Here's Joe chatting. We, it's not that we weren't listening to Alex's <laughs> forecast. We were having a little bit of a chat. This week on Breakfast, we've been uh, covering the story of Sir Nicholas Winton, a British stockbroker who helped hundreds of Czech children escape from the Nazis. Some of the people whose lives... Morning watching Breakfast with Bill Turnbull and Sean Lewis. Thanks for joining us this morning. All your news and sport on the way. And a little later, we're looking at the deal between the songwriters and YouTube. Mm, thousands of music videos will come back to the site after being deleted, but has the industry been doing enough to keep up with our changing media habits? Also this morning, millions of pounds have been spent giving school dinners a facelift, but uh, fewer pupils are actually eating them. We're asking this morning whether a pilot scheme offering them for free for all students will help to change that. And they're uh, going to be live at a school to get parents' and teachers' reaction. We want your thoughts on that as well. Free school meals for everyone. Good idea. Can we afford it? Lots more after 8.30. A really good yes, 8.30 and 9.15. Uh, the film director Nora Ephron talking about her latest film featuring Meryl Streep as a TV cookery goddess. She did Sleepless in Seattle, of course. And, and Harry Met Sally. Sally. Yeah. And if that's not enough, we're going to be joined by the biggest selling girl group of all time. It's Banana Armour. Yeah. Bigger than the Supremes, they were. They're huge. Yeah, yeah, more and they're hits. going to be here on the sofa. Right now, though, it's uh, just coming up to half past six, so let's uh, get to the news in our main story this morning. The NHS workforce in England needs to be cut by 10% over the next five years in order to hit savings targets. That's the advice 